Hi children, how are you all? How's everything going back at home? Children, today would have been your second day if at all you were coming to school. And I know that it would have brought about a lot of excitement in you because you would have gone to your new classes and you would have a new set of friends there, new teachers, new books and so many other exciting things. But it so happened that the whole world is passing through a crisis. And today, when you're back at home, people are asking you to stay back in the rooms and not go out anywhere and all that. I still see some children playing there in the playgrounds of the community. Children, if it were that safe to play in the community, it would have been safe enough to come to school and get into your classrooms or play in the playgrounds. Children, it is actually not very safe. The whole world is going through a crisis and this disease called COVID-19, even if we are not supposed to be scared about, we will have to remember this is passing quickly from one person to another person. So whatever precautions that we have to take, we must take those precautions. Like people are asking us to use, um, what do we call it? What do we call it? Sanitizer? Yes, sanitizer. And then every, every now and then go to the sanitizer, press a little bit and then rub your hands across is what they're saying. And they're also asking us to wash your hands from here to here and see that there is no dust in the nails. Yes, all these precautions are good. And uh, what is COVID-19 by the way? And how was the name Corona, Corona virus? Have you ever thought of it? Sit back today and I have prepared a set of uh, questions for you where you'll have to do a little bit of research. And this time, this research will happen along with your parents because you're supposed to use dad's phone or mommy's phone. Or you will have to use the computer that is back at home. So um, prepare yourself, sit in a calm mind and a peaceful mind, sit as a family, discuss about the crisis that we are facing right now. There was one epidemic that had happened even a few years ago. The world had to face that kind of a um, death toll that had happened during that time. Um, it was very, very serious. And now we face another one. You will have to understand what as little human beings, as what as members of society, or what as a family of this country and as well as the world that we are supposed to do during this crisis. Where are we standing? What are we understanding? So I'm um, kind of like uh, uh, intrigued with these kind of questions that I have had last night and I thought I'll post it across to you too so that you will research and you will come up with some of these answers. And these questions are really good so that you will get to know a lot of content about what exactly is happening all through the world and I want you all to understand and stand by each other because we as human beings need to stand together at this point of time and these are the questions which I'm going to post it do a lot of research and then write all these answers in full sentences in your English notebooks which will help you to improve your language also shall we all do that children have a good time researching on this and then I'll see you back when the school is reopening have a good day Thank you.